is the last call me and my brother and my actor. You know, my father is actually in the same trade I am in right now. My father happens to be Sunday Mobalanli, aka Papi Lue. You know, so while I was growing up, from my tender age, I used to go to rehearsal grounds with my father and his colleagues, people like um, Ogabilu, Jiri Kusoko, Pao Juge. You know, I see how these people do. I love what they do. So whenever I get back home, then I just sit back, you know, behind the, <laughs> the mirror. I script myself and I just start acting. So basically for me, that was how my journey started, you know. So I started picking up this passion gradually, you know, from seeing this old man do this movie thing and from seeing, getting back home, you know, sit in front of the mirror and act. I think that was how my journey started into what it is right now. I happen to be the first one of my family, a child whose father didn't want to actually pick up this career. Why? Because of the fear of the fact, you know, fear of the unknown, thinking, oh, I, if I had actually started, I, I, like I did start at a very tender stage, he said he thought I was actually going to get, you know, deviated because the film is, was, he thought the film was going to get into my head, then, um, you know, that, is, that wouldn't be good for me. So, but today, I'm that child whom my father is so proud of because not only did I graduate, I actually uphold the name, his legacy, the hard work he has actually, you know, well, he's still working anyway, so I'm actually adding. <laughs> so I think that's, that's a projection of what my career is like. Okay, um, the project I'm actually doing right now, I, I shot the last trace for some time due to some, you know, um, but I say theoretical um, reasons. I have to go back, shoot some more, and you know, I want the best and nothing but the best. So right now the movie is ready and we're actually trying to push it out there, you know, to the cinema and the online platforms for people's viewing. It talks about societal ill, you know, you know, when you talk about love, you think love is just between male and female, but really there's love between male and male, you know. So this is about two young men who actually grew up in Islam. One actually got elevated to the city and, you know, took so much, after so much struggle and, you know, their meeting was at the fate of one's, um, being one, of one survival, you know. So that's, that's what the movie is all about. It stars myself, um, my father, Gabriel Afalayo, Bimbo Akintala, Yabojo, Ayo Ade, Sonya, Saidi Balogun, um, Saka, Simpi Saka himself, Tony Akbo Sheri, Ibrahim Chata, Akin Kolapo. I mean, a whole lot of people. I mean, it's, it's a star studded movie, I'll tell you one thing. It's a movie you'd, it's actually going to glue anybody <laughs> down to, to your seat. <laughs> So really, I, I said, um, it's a good movie. Being on set for me, it's, it's not just about acting, really. Um, it's always a great experience. Why? Because I get to see people I don't get to see every day. Yes, we are actors, but trust me, we don't see each other every day. We see mostly on movie sets. Well, that's for me anyway. So it's, it's always so, so, so great when I go on set and I see my colleagues, my people. And I mean, it, it's strange the way we actually act together. Why? Because I mean, it's, it's not like it's a stage. This is a movie thing. It's not like it's a stage thing whereby you have to go for rehearsals. I mean, you just have, you read your script differently. But the way we go about to harmonize and we just sync everything. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's strange, you know. It's, it's the beauty of the, of the work we do, really. I was in Unilag Sunday and this lady came up to me with a pen and actually like, I want you to sign right there. <laughs> I mean like, people were, <laughs> I, was like, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> it, was just, <laughs> it was funny to me really, I told you, it was, it was crazy. I was like, wow, <laughs> why would you do that? Well, you know, at the end of the day, I think I had signed up, but it was crazy. Yeah. Well, um, well, Sukomiyomo Bolanle is a very good man. 
yes, I would say that and I would stand by it, trust me. But you know, the characters he plays, you know, they are <laughs> quite shady. You know, but the thing is, um, I found love at a very early stage and I decided to stay with love, really. And, um, I found the right woman, my best friend, my mother, my everything. And, you know, my wife actually understands who I am on TV is entirely different from who I am at home. I, I, and I, as a man, in, in return, I know when to work. I know when to put on my character as only at work. And um, I know how to create time for my family, you know. So it's like um, two different things. Like I, I live a dual life. I live, I live the Sukomiyo Mabalandi life. That is me, like the person talking to you right now. And I, there's another life, wow, like that's the camera life, you know. So it's always good when an actor is able to differentiate be between who he is, who really he is and who he is not. So that's, that's just it. I've, I've been able to manage both. Why? Because um, God has been faithful to me. One, two, Grace. Yeah. I love Grace. Hello, everyone. This is Bam Bam. And Teddy. Hey, hey, hey. Download Bounce News app. Your news. Your edge. Sexy. Amazing. Prayerful. Supportive, loving, the best I can ever ask for, the biggest gift God has ever given me. Seven. <laughs> Basically, I love tattoos, but my work wouldn't allow me to have more. Why? Because there are some times where you have to play a good boy role, and good boys don't have tattoos. As well, this part of the world thinks anyway. So, I mean, tattoos don't define you being bad. It's just a way of life. It's just what you love. Imprints. I, I wrote my wife's name on my body. Yeah, as Abim Bola. This is my name, Kami. The short form of my name, Kami. Then, um, actually, this is my most, most memorable tattoo because I actually drew this tattoo the day my mom died. Yeah, then I lost my mom. I mean, it was so painful. I didn't even know, like, my mom has already passed on and I drew a tattoo. Not until when I go home and realize man <laughs> i mean that was that was a very tragic day for me so as i could not complete it so and this is a band my godfather has this so i mean every tattoo on me has has a meaning yes back while i was actually because I'm, I'm actually into clubs too i love nightlife and um i really hope one day and i pray one day i'm actually going to invest hugely in nightlife in africa so um but the only time I could remember having such speculations was when I was running a club somewhere around Oju Olegba Road and I just bought these shisha pots and I was trying them out. Yes, it was my club. I was trying Emporium. I was, I was trying them out and, you know, I was filming like the, 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 the smoke and my friends were taking pictures of, of the pots and myself. And that was all. And the next thing, I saw it on the news that Sukomi Mobile smoking a potting pipe or something like like his life depending on on it. I mean, that was that was heartbreaking anyway because I wasn't even doing that for. <laughs> I was just doing my business, like you know, testing my shisha pot for my customers to come and use <laughs> later at night. And it was all over. Like I mean, my father had to call me daddy. Like. I mean, it was the meaning of that, like, I should take it easy. And I just explained to him, like, I don't know how that picture got out there. I don't even know which one of my friends actually took that picture. I mean, I was only trying out sh shisha pots in my club. I mean, is there a crime in that? So I think that's about the only time I could actually have such news. Love. My God, brotherhood. Woo. Hi, my name is Kiki. She on Kentabe. They hear me on Kolawo. Je m'appelle Ufo Mama Dumont. Bronke Odusoya. She on Wajaya. Quinto Antonio. And you're watching Bounce. 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 Bounce TV. To see a lot more. Click here to subscribe. Okay.